Hello and welcome back to the channel my friends Welcome back to my Witcher 3 Next Generation playthrough on the PlayStation 5 We're playing on Death March difficulty And this is And I'm so happy to say this The Blood and Wine playthrough um, Stroke walkthrough This will be part 1 Guys I can't tell you how excited I am man you have no idea so uh, just in case you missed it um i added a couple of videos to my witcher 3 uh playlist um it was all it uh, it was just simply you know clearing up some you know question marks except etc et so we've done velen we fully did novigrad and velen so let me show you real quick so novigrad and velen to my knowledge anyway is fully done there's no question marks um at all <laughs> so so it's all done guys now we've still got skelliger to do but guys i'll do that a bit later on um in the series it's not a problem i'll just add it as an extra bonus episode but guys we've more or less almost done skelliger there's some question marks here and i think some up here as well where is it this one so yingvar's fang or whatever that's called and i think maybe one or two here and here and there but um but yeah <laughs> so we'll i'll do that as a bonus episode it's no big deal now what we're going to do then is before we head out we're going to do our final horse ride well it's not final i mean look guys obviously obviously i will still come back to um novigrad and skellige just to visit you know uh, that's not an issue but i want to stay in uh, tucson which is where blood and wine is set i want to stay there as my base of operations if you will <laughs> i love it there guys i love it and i'm really sad already to say that you know uh, blood and wine is more or less it you know that is it for the witcher 3. but anyway let's talk to vivaldi i'll show you why because how can i be of service Right, I don't need a load. What do I want to do? <laughs> right, I want to convert some currency. Got some coin I'd like to convert into crowns. you come to the, the right, right place. place. <laughs> you'll not find anywhere in the city. <laughs> uh, oh, check it out. 13,000, guys. That is insane. So check out the money. Um, well, Yeah, we're doing all right. You know what, Gary, you should just retire, man. <laughs> Honestly. All right, so guys, what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to grab Roach. Where is she? Oh, you are kidding me. Um, okay, she came out of that building. Right, so what we're going to do, this is like going to be a horse ride to the Stonecutters um, village or whatever it's called. So we're going to go there now. Um, so this is a nice relaxing horse ride. <laughs> um, you know, kind of our final one for a long time guys i'm excited man i can't wait for blood and wine i'm really thinking of, about the characters we're gonna meet tucson itself is a character in itself it, it's crazy it's um <laughs> literally i'm grinning from ear to ear i really am but anyway guys you know check out my witcher 3 playlist if you want to watch it from the very beginning you can see the start of my adventure there and uh, of course we've got the hearts of stone dlc as well so that's all been completed now and come on oh come on let me go <laughs> jesus all right so we're on our way now and you know this terrible weather is going to be a thing of the past <laughs> Tucson is stunning. I think, I'm not sure, but I, I have a feeling they base it off the... Uh, it's sort of Mediterranean. I don't know if it's Mediterranean or if it's... Hey, Roach, please. Oh. Or if it's, um, you know, like the uh, south of France. You know, that sort of vibe. So that's why I think um, they were going for. Uh, Roach, what the hell? Why is the white dots telling me to go here anyway? Jesus, it's bloody awkward. Yeah, that was a lot of money. <laughs> Jesus. I've been saving all my florins and orins and, you know, whatever. I've been saving them. So I had like 4,000 each. <laughs> so when I converted it, obviously it amounted up to about 13,000. That is insane. Right, the time is now 6.23 in the game. Um, we're going to need to buff up and everything because uh, we've got some tough fights. <laughs> 
Oh, guys, cannot wait. I am so excited. And listen, by the way, thanks all for your patience. I really appreciate it. Um, I mean, the thing is, I could have, you know, started... Uh, hey, what's the white dots doing? Guys, I really hate that. That's the only thing I can't stand about the map dots. Now, now it's telling me to go the other way. Unbelievable. Anyway, whatever. Um, yeah, thanks very much for sticking with me, man. Um, you know, I wanted to get started ASAP. But guys, honestly, I'm back at work now. I'm still not fully recovered, which is, um, you know, a bit strange. Uh, the flu's gone, but uh, I think the remnants of the illness is still there. Still got a horrific sore throat. Uh, get feverish from time to time, but nothing serious. But I'm just not 100%. And I've lost a ton of weight, man. It's it's actually quite, uh, quite you know, uh, disheartening. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> but anyway, I've got games like this to cheer me up. So um, yeah. And also, oh, come on, man. Seriously, bro, Jesus. Um, you know, uh, the thing is, I wanted to get started on Blood and Wine as soon as possible. But you gotta remember, guys. I don't have an editor, I'm a brand new channel, it's just me, you know, my girlfriend helps me a lot, but, you know, her time is quite precious as well, you know, she's also a personal trainer like I am, so we're both very busy people, but I'm passionate about games, um, my girlfriend's passionate about helping me out, she, she's not into games really, just sometimes she is, but, um, uh, it's just us two, so it, it's a lot of time and effort that goes into these videos, the easiest part, actually, is um, where the hell am nice. I? What the hell is this thing doing? Oh, okay. No, no, it's fine. We're, we're nearly there. It's fine. We're good. We're good. Oh, God. It's really slow now. But, yeah, it's it's just, um, you know, just us two doing this. It's very time-consuming. Um you know making the videos and everything and the easiest part of all this is actually playing the game <laughs> right that's the easy part playing the game is not an issue it's it's just actually um oh come on guys i'm sorry i'm gonna have to, i'm sorry look sorry about the rides but i'm i'm afraid we're just gonna fast travel it's getting it's turning into a bit of a hassle to be honest i just i just want to start a damn dlc god damn it <laughs> Continue long. All right. Now, oh, excellent. Yes, I can do that. Fantastic. Get out of the way, dude. Oh, my God. All right. Oh, actually, Jesus. I need to take this out. Bloody hell. Um, right, I want... Let's do that. Let's put this one in. And what about these skills? Cat school and battle battle frenzy. Okay, perfect. Now I've got killing spree. Oh yeah, I will need that. I will need killing spree. No, I didn't want to do that. Jesus. Oh, it's a good thing there wasn't a soldier behind me. <laughs> anyway, let's just um, get the hell out of here. Okay, I want to go not directly there. Let's go here. Actually, no, devil spit. Let's go here. We'll take Roach up there. Guys, this is it, man. Blood and wine. I'm so happy, man. Anyway, we're going to need hangmans, and we're going to need that, that, and of course, our precious Torniel. Hold on a minute. What bomb do I have? Oh, no, no, no. We need Northern Wind. Absolutely, we're going to need that. Okay, Roach, I need you. Anyway, I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you guys, you know, having a great, great day, great week, etc. But, um, yeah, we're heading into springtime now. But, guys, it's still cold and rainy here in, in the UK. I mean, there's nothing unusual about that. It's always rainy in bloody London, you know. But, um, there's still... Okay, I think we're here. Oh, God, I feel overwhelmed, guys. Oh... And we, we're going to have a brand new Gwent deck to play with as well. Look at these horses! <laughs> this is incredible. Guys, I'm so excited. Look at this. <laughs> this is amazing. So these are two Tucson um, horses. But anyway, let's <laughs> let's just get on with this now. Right, let's, let's listen to this first. 
suffered enough plunder. Enough rape. Fear not, for we shall spill only the blood of our wounds. For you, Grunt, operation. Okay, so the, uh, the reason I didn't go too close, uh, it'll just trigger off a card scene. Anyway, so, um... Here we go. Geralt of Rivia. Ha! Sit with us, Witcher! Found your message on a notice board. You see, Palmerin? I told you. The griffin at White Orchard. I knew that were we only to follow the tracks of its slayer, we would in the end find Geralt. Milton de Peyrac Perrin and Palmerin de Lanfor. Good to see you both. Been years. We are short. We share your joy. You must forgive us our uh, surroundings. When we pledged to place the village under our protection, the village elder gave us this hut as our lodgings. He swore it is the best hut in the village. Get involved in some squabble? We discovered that in retreating, the Redanian garrison that left this land still is at the mercy of numerous plagues. The tyranny of bandits, the most onerous among them. These plunderers shall soon descend on this village to collect tribute. Milton and I will dissuade them. We are both sworn to fight injustice and oppression wherever they rear their heads. The matter does not concern you, of course, but do us the kindness of waiting. Once we have dealt with these marauders, we have a matter we must present to you. Of course we're going to help. Jesus, get rid of these bandits. Worst ones will come in to replace them. He is right, but I'm going to help. <laughs> of course I am. So, plan to go out and meet the bandits when they arrive? Fight them? Parmaron wishes first to appeal to their sense of decency. <laughs> but I expect they will be deaf to this. Yeah, completely. We must afford them a chance to stand down. Many a hardened outlaw has left the path of wrongdoing upon hearing <laughs> words of admonition. Doesn't happen in these lands. Yep. Ever. Exactly. Do not heed my reprimand. We at least will know we have done all within our means to evade bloodshed. Fine. Naturally, I'll help when Pomeran's rhetoric falls on deaf ears. Excellent. Then we've but to wait for the rogues to arrive. These are coming! Hear that? Your bandits have arrived. Sunrise? Let's go out to greet them. Oh, um, my tawny owl. Shit. <laughs> no, leave the cat alone. Guys, I'm so excited. You have no idea, man. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'll shut up now. <laughs> Hark! Contemptible cars! mean us? I, Palmerin de Lonfall, call upon you to repent. Search your hearts. Do you not see that they are blackened? <laughs> Regular punch and duty here. To prey upon <laughs> commoners is no honor. To loot their meager stores. Abandon the path of shame, and we will spare you. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Right, good jest, that. Had us a laugh. Now, Fuck off or we lose our patience and you lose something else. Nay, <laughs> wait, Zorg. These lads are a lark. Mayhaps they know some tricks. Oi, players! Can you toss balls all loopity like? Or do that thing where one spits fire while the other farts? <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, look at Geralt. He looks like a badass. <laughs> okay, take my advice, listen to Palmerim. Seems they won't heed your call. Uh, don't know. Let's do this one. Noble Palmerin's giving you a chance. Now I'm gonna give you some advice. Do what he says. Or what? Or you'll find yourself fighting knights errant in the pay of the Duchess of Toussaint. And they eat scum like you with their morning porridge. Well, there's three of them. Two turtled up in armor. We'll come back later. Some wench sent them. Folk who say we's afeard of wenches and jesters. Ooh, insulted the <laughs> Duchess. Not good. Indeed, we cannot let the affront go unpunished. They went too far. <laughs> I swear upon the heron you will pay with your own blood. 
By the crane, villains, ready your arms. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, one thing though: do not underestimate the enemies here because they are bloody tough. And you gotta remember, I'm playing on um, enemy upscaling. Oh Jesus! Wow. Okay, let's do that. No, girl, you fool! Oh, I, I don't even know what to say, guys. Okay. Oh Jesus! Okay, please go aim properly. Thank you. Good boy. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm getting warmed up now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's an archer. Let's get the archer first. Where is he? Is that you? Yeah, that's one archer down. There should be another one. Oh, no. There's another one. There's another one. Get the archer. <laughs> nice. He's struggling there. Oh, what? Oh, you bitch. Oh, that's Zorg. That's the leader, I think. Okay, let's help out the dude. Oh, no, he's getting his ass kicked. <laughs> uh, what? Is that more? I would fight you all to talk. <laughs> yeah, that's really smart, girl. Yeah, yeah, put your sword away. That's great. Wonderful. We did it. Why do they not emerge? It is over. We have banished the Scantrus, lifted oppression's yoke from their lives. Warned you it'd be like this. Fear you as much as they did the bandits now. Sorry, no fanfares and flowers. You're not in Toussaint. Ugh, it is true what folk claim. In the north, no noble deed goes unthwarted. It is time to go home. And we shall, my friend. Come, Geralt. It's time we delivered our message. So fess up. What brings you such a long way? We are to deliver Her Grace the Duchess's message in full, with all due ceremony. For tradition... It is sacred in Toussaint. <laughs> all right. Fine. Most honorable Geralt, slayer of monsters and all Ifils nefarious, which prey on the defenseless of this world. Whereas never have you been known to deny help to the innocent, nor leave widows and orphans to fates undeserved. Answer you now our present summons. Free us from the beast which floods our streets with blood, and sows panic in the hearts of rich and poor alike. Come to our aid, Witcher. Thus humbly beseeches you the star-crossed city's most gracious protectress, her illustrious highness, Duchess Anna Henrietta. Shall you answer her call? Of course. <laughs> Anna, what's this? Anna Henrietta say all that, word for word? Anna Henrietta really say all that, word for word? Well, in point of fact, she said, bring me the Witcher and dare not spare your horses. <laughs> Only make certain this time he comes alone. The Ducal Chamberlain added the rest. You know how it is. Yeah, I remember. I might add, be it unofficially, that a hefty reward awaits. Yet the specifics you will need to verify with her illustrious highness. Okay. Might be the most fervent request that I take a contract ever. And the most polite. And now we've got all that behind us. I want to hear more about this beast. Some kind of monster? Just guessing. Most assuredly, though no one has caught a good look at it as yet, our only sure witnesses, the bodies massacred in a brutal, horrid manner. Look, some sketches drafted from descriptions given by those who claim they glimpsed the beast. Each quite different. To my mind, these witnesses lie. How many victims so far? Two. When Her Grace learnt of the second, she discharged us immediately to fetch you, promising grants of land and fortunes in gold, should you answer her summons. An ill wind blows, Geralt. The beast cannot be tracked. Folks say it wields black magic. Also, both victims were nobly born, and the start of a tourney draws near. Beast wields black magic? What makes you say so? 
The first victim vanished between bites of the feast. Of the feast goers, none noticed this. They saw but an open window, then heard Jesus. desperate cries from the street below, where a corpse had just been found. The second killing, similar. A night in a locked room. Serpents all about the house, guards all around the estate. Yet the beast somehow got him out, dragged him to the town square, and killed him there. No one saw, nor heard, a thing. We have no fear of creatures against which sword and shield protect. But of this beast, nothing is known. Safe that it cannot be traced, kills effortlessly, and with no rhyme or reason we can discern. Anyone tried to hunt it? Knights Errant, for example? Ha! Many have tried. Baiting, waiting in ambush, but to no avail. The beast is clever. It evades all traps and attacks of a sudden. It is like a ghost. An experienced tracker. This is what we need, with knowledge of monsters. In short, we need you. Mentioned a tourney. Why doesn't the Duchess just call it off? Simply, it is too late. The guests have arrived. The best knights of all lands, relatives of the Emperor. The beast could be a threat to others, not just to her grace's subjects. Got it. For an aristocrat dies, at best it's a scandal. At worst, a diplomatic incident. Okay, this contract needs to think about it. There's nothing to think about, man. We're going to go for it, man. <laughs> I sometimes think back to all the contracts I've ever taken from sovereigns. Can't name hardly any where I came out ahead. You cannot be thinking to refuse. <sighs> no, just struck by a thought. How the Duchess can sometimes be... Mm, ...demanding. So you accept the contract? Excellent! We must set off at once. We long wanted this land searching for you. Yet time is of the essence. Ready to go, soon as you're packed. Ha! Ah, then post haste to Tucson. To Tucson! To Tucson! <laughs> this is awesome, guys. I'm gonna put the volume up on my uh, computer so you might hear a, a sound. Because the music is pst, uh, amazing. Sorry, guys. <laughs> a few days later, the Duchy of Toussaint. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I've got to put my controller down for a second. Oh my god. Sam, the land of love and wine. Oh exactly my god. <laughs> oh. You will find Beauclair has changed some these past years. Walk about when you have the chance. You will see for yourself. To me, place always seemed straight out of a fairy tale. Knights errant, elven palaces. You insinuate that we are somehow odd? I shall prove you wrong. This I pledge on the heron. Guys, I shed a tear. I'm sorry, I did. I couldn't help it. I don't know why that happened. <laughs> oh god. Oh shit. Okay. We got a fight on our hands. Now this dude is a mean son of a bitch. Oh, poor horse. <laughs> okay, the problem is I think my buffs have gone. Oh, no. The witch, hey, the witch has gone south. Okay, right, let's get, um, okay, we need Ogroid. We need that. We need that. Uh, I've got Northern Wind, good, and, oh, no, don't think this is going to work. Ah, shit, it's not going to work. Okay, fine. Oh, poor sheep. Oh, my lady. Heel, watch out. My sword. <laughs> okay. Monster. Thanks, girl. Cheers, man. <laughs> yes! Yes, I got it! <laughs> hey. 
Okay, I didn't want to say anything, guys. Because I wasn't sure if I could do it, but you can one shot him and I just did. Big beast. <laughs> None too wise. <laughs> Neither is love born of wisdom, Witcher. So, Guillaume, out with it. Which fair damsel inspired you to vow to kill that filth? The most beautiful among them. If he wishes to guard her name a secret, he need not reveal it. You I do not know, sir, nor seem you a knight, yet still I am profoundly grateful, nay, indebted to you for your succor. This trophy, sir, is yours. A giant this close to human settlements? Strange. Well, that was no ordinary giant. His name was Goliath. Rumored to have been a knight once, but one who broke his vows. For this, the Lady of the Lake transformed him into a wild giant and banished him into the Gorgon Hills. Gosh. So he came back down? Why? Several times each year, hunger chased him into the lowlands. Goliath had killed and devoured many shepherds. Guillaume's hunt served a noble cause. At any rate, it's a tale for more agreeable environs. Okay, just very quickly, guys. If you're brand new to this, um, you never played this before. So, you, you, you know, just rewind the um, footage. All you have to do is shoot him in the eye with um, with a crossbow, and that's it. You can one shot him. It's a bit tricky, and they've nerfed something because normally you could use Northern Wind, and Northern Wind will freeze him, and you can just you know just shoot him in the eye, basically. So that didn't work. Um, but yeah, I didn't. I wasn't sure if I could do it or not, but it did work. So perfect. Anyway, I'll take the trophy. Why not? Could find someone who'll pay to buy it. Put up a good fight against the giant. Got experience battling monsters? None. In Tucson, we mostly chase bandits. But I vowed I'd bring my heart's champion, the head of a monstrosity, as the famed Gottfried, known as the Giant Killer, did. You don't mean to hunt the beast, I hope. The matter's best left to Geralt. Another challenge awaits me. Yet if Geralt is to hunt the beast, he ought to know. It struck again. Oh dear. The river surrendered a corpse. It washed up in the meander by the cockatrice. Damien de la Tour's guardsmen are there already, securing the area. Securing the area? <laughs> Better go there. <laughs> That's why I say. <laughs> they trample any tracks, manhandle any evidence. Set forth then. I shall ride for the city to inform her gracious magnificence that Geralt has arrived. <laughs> a gracious <laughs> Peter, magnificence. Sent to the tourney grounds. <laughs> I shall take you then to see her grace. All right, cool. Awesome. Um, I don't remember what uh, abilities this trophy gives us, but I'd rather keep the one where... Um, guys, I hope you don't mind that... Oh, wow. Uh, we're actually here, guys. I, um, wow. Wait, what's that? Can we loot him? Oh, check it out. Greater Red. That's awesome. Okay, so loot him. Um, make quite a bit of bloody XP there. Jesus. Right, let me see what this is. And I hope you guys don't mind. I just want to have a look around. I haven't been in Tucson in ages. 5% bonus from monsters. Nah, may as well just keep this. I'd rather have the 15% bonus to gold, you know? Where's the lovely music? Yeah, guys, um, I teared up. I'm not going to lie. You know when the music kicked in and, you know, whatever. It was uh, Oh, poor horse. Oh, man, that's, that sucks. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. Yeah, honestly, guys, thanks for your patience uh, waiting for me to put this out. Like I said, I would have done it sooner, but... Oh, life, you know, life, things in life, it just tires you out. <laughs> I mean, I have to admit, this is my escape. You know, gaming and making videos, etc. Um, I want to get this out as soon as I could, but... Guys, look at that. Look at the landscape. Oh, my God, this is stunning. Dora, we're going to get a move on. Um, there's a lot to do. This first episode is a banger. Oh my god, just look at this place. Leave in the comments, would you love to live in Tucson? <laughs> I certainly would. Alright, anyway, let's follow this dude. Let's trot slowly so we can take it all in. Brave kid. He just killed a freaking... <laughs> 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 
Oh, I just killed one. Oh, sorry, I did. Guys, didn't mean it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, faster, faster. Oh, God, this is gorgeous. A jump is like a lady. You can always get a new one. Oh, jeez, I don't even. I have no words. Can't get used to the way you knights talk, especially how you switch back and forth between flowery and, well, near normal. The knights errant in the service of her gracious magnificence. When we appear in her name or speak on her behalf, we are bound by tradition. Oh crap, we've got a top fight. I just, sorry, I just remembered something. And I hate these enemies, guys. Okay, sorry, that's actually soured my mood a bit. There's some enemies in this game, especially with enemy upscaling on. They are lethal. If you thought devourers were bad, these guys are horrific. And don't worry, we won't be encountering them that often, which is good. Are we actually going? Okay. All right. Okay, let me put some necrophage oil. We're going to need it. Uh, do I have killing spree still? Actually, how are my buffs looking? Guys, I'm thinking about meditation. I don't know if we can... Let's do it. No, no, let's meditate. I'm sure... I mean, there's nothing in the rule book saying we can't. Okay, good. Very good. I'm happy about that. Just want to make sure, guys, I don't, I don't want to mess this up. Because, honestly, these things are lethal. Um, but what else? Black blood. We don't need it yet. It's fine. We're good. Okay, Roach, are you wait there. I'll call you if I need you. What's in here? <laughs> Nothing. Okay, where's uh, Milton? Milton, thanks for standing there all day for about 10 hours. <laughs> but, um... No one here. What? They must have removed the body already. Let's look around. Make sure they didn't miss anything. Pure escapism, this, this place. It really is. Uh, what? Have I missed something? Guys, I'm in the yellow circle, but there's nothing here. What? Hey! Oh, here we are. <laughs> okay. This outside yellow circle. Hobnailed boots. Multiple sets of prints. Ducal guard, clearly. Let's see where they went. Okay, use which sense is... Okay, cool. Walked along the shoreline. Perhaps the body lay on the bank. Oh god, here we go. Right, these things, I can't remember their names, Scurvers or something. Uh, guys, these things are horrific. They're, they're worse than uh, Devourers. Um, you'll see, you'll see. Oh, okay, let's get rid of them. Okay, we're going to take Black Blood. I need to anyway, because uh, Killing Spree won't work otherwise. And you know what? Screw it, I'm going to take some Adrenaline. Oh god. Come on, you bitches! Come on! Oh, God! Okay. Okay, I don't want to get cocky. Can okay, be a little bit cautious, guys, because they explode, but one shot you. Come on! Oh, God! Okay. Oh, you piece of shit. Oh my god, will he come back here, you piece of shit? <laughs> okay. Yeah, do not underestimate them. They're horrific enemies. Oh god. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let me read that real quick. Okay, best Sherry. I'm trying to make more of an effort to show you guys this because... I didn't do a very good job of that before. Okay, necrophages. Um, scurvers. Okay, here we go. Oh, jeez, that is long. Okay, thought it was just a pile of rotten meat till it started to move. Uh, Theobald from uh, Buclair. Scurvers are Roth Fiends' larger cousins. The bodies of these hideous, vaguely humanoid creatures are covered with rotten scraps of flesh. Yeah. Here, anyway, under which lurk even more rotten muscles stretched across around a strong, flexible skeleton. Scurvers, which feed on old, rotting corpses, prefer to make their hunting grounds in abandoned torture sites, forgotten graveyards, and old battlefields. They are very aggressive, and though they feed on corpses, they if they come across a living person, they are likely to attack. 
Thus, when wandering near any of the above mentioned places, one must be especially cautious. Scurvers uh, usually feed underground, but sometimes, when they catch the scent of a human, they crawl to the surface in a matter of seconds and attack their potential prey. While fighting them, one cannot afford to forget about their special bony spines. Uh, this is what kills you. It just one-shots you guys. Uh, razor sharp protuberances uh, sticking out from their skeletons. When a scurver is near death, the gases and en enzymes gathered within its body cause it to explode, flinging these spines out at great speed, turning them into one last deadly weapon in their arsenal. To protect oneself against damage from these spines, one should make a uh, prodigious use of the quensine. Sorry, I've never heard of that word before. I'm a commoner. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> anyway. Right, let's go kill these bitches. Oh, get your sword, Carol! Carol, get your sword out, man. Jesus. Okay, just be patient with them. Get hit in. If um, they're near death. Okay. I don't believe this. Carol, Carol, can he just shoot? Shoot! God damn you. Okay, run, 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 run. Just get away, get away. Okay. Right, have I got Quen? Okay, is he gonna explode? Get out of it. <laughs> oh you okay there, Milton? <laughs> anyway, let's um grab all of that. Okay, um, did I miss anything here? Oh no, there's another one. God damn it! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Milton, I'm coming! <laughs> it's so funny. Oh shit! Oh god! Oh god, that would have killed me. That would have 100% killed me. Anyway, why did I come back here? Is there any loot here? There is not. It's fine. It's fine. Alright. Um. Okay, we need to check out all of this. Where does it want me to go? Oh, here we are. Here we are. A mug. A platter. Really? Jesus. No, I'm trying to examine. Anything Come on. Taken by the current ends up in these shallows. Yes, the stench is fierce. Right, looks like we're gonna have to swim. Uh, just before we do that, though, guys, give me a second. I swear there was some uh, really good loot here. Oh, maybe I'm yeah, maybe I'm misremembering. Okay, it's fine. All right, let's have a look. Right here we go. Only blood-soaked scraps left of the victim's clothing. Good quality cloth. A wealthy victim, correct? Looks it. Blood. Guardsmen pulled these nets out of the water, then cut the mutilated body free. Uh, that's enough, girl. Jeez. Dive in. <laughs> Make sure they didn't miss anything. Okay, give me a second. Not just yet. Not just yet. Okay, I've already examined that. Okay, this one. Look at the rut. Guardsmen left this site by boat. Recently, probably to transport the body somewhere. All right, fine. So that's been examined. Um, right, we just need to go in the water now. Some stuff in here. Wait, wait, what's that? What is this? Hey, hey, let me let me have a look. <laughs> God damn it! Never mind. All right. Um, okay. Why was that red? Okay, here we go. There's another one here. I've broken all. Jesus. No, can you collect that? Oh my god. Look, just collect it. Okay, Geralt. A gutted bloody fish, really. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. What's that? Okay, we check this out. <laughs> wait, hopefully it'll let me see it. Chief. Monogrammed DLC. <laughs> DLC, guys. <laughs> clearly. Be nice to know where they took the corpse. Right, what is that, though? What is this? A bowl. <laughs> okay, another broken all. Bloody hell. Sorry, guys, I don't remember this part very well, actually. Now, I don't think there's anything else. I don't think so.
Okay, here we go. What now? This isn't the site of the murder. We know that. Current brought the body here. Corpse got caught in the nets. Guardsmen pulled it out, put it in a boat and took it somewhere. Need to find out where. I'd like to look at the corpse before it starts to decompose. The inn. Its patrons must have seen the guardsmen. Which direction they took. We should ask there. Uh oh. Hey, what happened there? Someone's watching us. <laughs> Seems we've got ourselves an audience. You think this surprising? The locals will tell the children of children they do not have yet. Of the day a quartered corpse was pulled from the river. One thing. Found a handkerchief in the water. Monogrammed DLC. <laughs> mean anything to you? Delacroix? It cannot be. Was it he the beast slew? Seems so. Knew him well? Long past. We were close friends once, but our paths diverged. He was a man of extremes. Standing by his companions, no matter the odds. Fighting his foes to the bitter end. Foes? You have a lot of them? He did. But I do not see what that has to do with the beast. Ah, Geralt. You've struck a raw nerve. Memories of a time long past, to which I'd rather not return now. I understand. We can talk later. Let's go to the tavern. <coughs> Guys, excuse me. You, give me a moment. Barely got back to Tucson. Sorry, give me a moment. I'm just going to blow my nose. I won't be long. <laughs> my friends, I'm back. Much better. My God. Okay, definitely no more loot. So. Night in the service of her illustrious highness knows no rest. In fact, I'd feared I would return too late to fulfill my duty. Yet it seems I've arrived in the nick of time. Gosh, it's so beautiful, guys. I'm not sure, but the ambient music seems a little bit low. So I may turn that up at some point. I'll see anyway. I'll give it more time. I'll Once see. you have finished examining the corpse, be sure to report to Anarietta. Anarietta? Her Grace, the Duchess. I forget myself at times. We address each other by our first names in private. Oh. Never in public's <laughs> presence, however. He finds such familiarity offensive. Okay. A watering hole for traders, smugglers, boatmen. But you will find no better crayfish chowder in all Tucson. <laughs> oh, right. This is closed. Okay. Uh, we got to rescue a uh, NPC later, merchant. Uh, could be in here, actually. No, it's in here. Okay. Oh, God, look at that. Oh, guys, look at that. Oh my lord. <laughs> God, I'm so happy. You have no idea how happy I am. <laughs> Alright, notice boards. Okay, we'll meet up with him in just a second. Let's grab this. Okay, thoughts a thought for today. Every journey begins with a first step. Take it at the cockatrice. Odrin. <laughs> okay. Right, wanted. The white wolf. The Witcher, Geralt of Rivia, known as the White Wolf, is wanted to serve as a guide. His potential employer guarantees an ample wage for this unusual contract. For more information, he should go to Count Belladul's temporary base camp in Toussaint. Note, we kindly request all other persons not present not present themselves at said camp under the pretense of being Geralt of Rivia. <laughs> Count Belladul was not born yesterday. <laughs> and can easily tell who is a witcher and who is faking it. All those journeying to his camp in shabby costumes with wooden swords strapped to their backs can save themselves the trouble and turn back. <laughs> right, notice from the Duke of Camelengo. Calling all knights errants and other strongmen. The duchy needs you. Your aid is required. Bounteous rewards are in the offering. Offing, sorry. More details available at the Ducal Carmelengo's offices on Knight's Dormant Square. 
Right, what is this? Oh, Jesus. Uh, announcement from the Office of Internal Revenue of the Duchy of Toussaint. The Office of Internal Revenue hereby announces a limited live auction to be held regarding the sale of a piece of developed real estate and accompanying uh, agricultural lands located in the Cabaretta Woods region, having been left to the Ducal Treasury by the late Count Crespi, who departed this world without any heirs. Due to the unique nature of the Bellegarde estate and its important role in the production of wine bringing great fame to the duchy in all corners of the world, only subjects of the Duchy of Toussaint shall be allowed to participate in the auction. To all knights errant and other such men of arms, be it known far and wide that the services of voluntary keepers of the peace shall be needed. Minor problems are expected to arise during the transfer of the above mentioned real estate and said problems for their dissolution uh, could require the application of direct physical force. All volunteers are asked to report to the field office of the Procurator General of Toussaint near Plegman's Bridge, that is to say to the place where the auction shall be held. Okay, what is this? The Great Buclair Gwent Tournament. Yes! <laughs> the Great Buclair Gwent Tournament. It is Count Monier's supreme delight to announce a Gwent Tournament of his organisation. Those wishing to take part should register at the pheasantry. Please note, this tournament features a new faction developed by Count Monier himself. Let the games begin. <laughs> Contract for a Witcher Witchers Caravan Escort To a Witcher or Witchers, the Buclair Coopers Guild is seeking an individual or individuals uh, willing to escort a merchant convo convoy through an area threatened by the Great White Terror. More information can be obtained from Gaston Legaf at the merchant's camp in the forest to the north of Coronata Vineyard. Morgren Poulain under Secretary for Threats and Risk Management, Buclair Cooper's Guild. Ducal clerks looking for help. Could be good coin to be made. Okay, here we go. We'll just go through this real quick. Oh, that's the summons. Um, summons from Duchess Anna Henrietta. Most honourable Ger Geralt, slayer of monsters and all evils and affairs which prey on the defenceless of this world. Whereas never have you been known to deny help to the innocent nor leave wid widows and orphans to fates undeserved. Answer you now our present summons. Free us from the beast which floods our streets with blood and sows panic in the hearts of rich and poor alike. Come to our aid, Witcher, thus humbly beseeches you the star-crossed city's most gracious protectress, her illustrious highness, Duchess Anna Henrietta. Okay, so that's all that. What's that DLC thing? The witcher's not nearly as nasty as they make him out to be. Exactly, that's right. Okay, so we're getting all these new quests. I'm so excited, guys. This this is insane. So I keep I keep on looking outside because it's stunning here. Oh anyway, we've got plenty of hours to enjoy ourselves. By my trust, could that be the musty scent of fresh pate? Naught else, Sir de Peyrac Peyrac. I see time has not dulled your senses. We would be honored if you would join us. Uh, your companion as well. But why do I not detect even a whiff of crayfish chowder? No soup today, on account of there being no crayfish. I reckon you've not heard, but all I caught was a corpse. I awoke at the crack of dawn, as I do each day, but when I looked up, I beheld a blood-red sky. This corpse is precisely why we're here. For the man whom you've invited to join you at the table was summoned from a far-off land by her gracious magnificence. He is tasked with tracking and killing the beast. We invited two men to join us, yet since Sir de Peyrac Peyron in temperament is more akin to hare than hound, I surmise the other is the hunter. With whom do we have the pleasure? Name's Geralt. A humble introduction. You've clearly not tarried long with Sir de Peyrac Peyron. Spare us the petty insults. <laughs> Geralt is a master of the Witcher in trade. He has questions concerning the beast's last victim. I was the one to find the corpse. The sun had just risen when I awoke. 
sat straight up in my bed, looked out the window, and beheld a sky red as blood. Ask Geralt, please, or we shall be here till winter. Must have been early in the morning. Went to check your nets and then... I stepped out of my hut and saw... By my troth, to the point, man. <laughs> you found a body ensnared in your crayfish nets. We know this already. What happened then? Did you see anyone nearby? Did you spy anything noteworthy? Anything at all? Not a soul around, just me. As for noteworthy... Mm, well... What did you see? But be warned. If I hear the sky was red again... I saw... A head bobbing, eyes bulging, the tongue blew and popped out. Next to it, a hand rocking upon the water. Get a good look at the body parts? They gave me such a fright! I bolted to town, fast as my legs would take me, then returned with guardsmen who told me to keep out of their way. They had a hard haul. The parts were so tangled up in my nets, they were forced to cut them. Jesus. Need to examine the body. Know where they took it? They ferried it across, then loaded it on a cart and hauled it to a cellar at Corfo Bianco to keep it cool, see? What? Why, Corfo Bianco is Baron Russell's estate. When he learns they've turned his cellar into a morgue, he'll set his house on them. While you were caliphanting about the north, his oh vineyard was auctioned off. Who was that? Woman who just left. Didn't see her before. Didn't notice her walk in either. Doubtless Linnis, the innkeeper's daughter. But hold, Geralt, because this is an outrage. Rossell's vineyard was auctioned off? Inconceivable! It is no secret the Baron had gambling debts up to his ears. It finally came time to collect. His creditors auctioned off his property. The Ducal Chancellery bought it, in fact. Russell now bunks with his brother in Vicar Faro. I told Russell he'd get his comeuppance. How long can one draw on past heroics? His creditors must finally have to find that his promises meant nothing. Such are the times. Today's knights are pale shadows of the heroes of yore. It's true what they say. God sent the beast to punish us for straying from the old paths. So folk think the beast's divine punishment. Knights have turned their backs on the old customs. Where they were defenders of the duchy, they're now defenders of their own tushes. Why, you insolent. Let him talk. The duchess trades in titles, grants honors to ill to us. We've strayed from the path of virtue, lost the gods' favor, so the gods sent retribution. Don't listen to that nonsense, Geralt. It's rehashed street preacher Codsworth. Yes, the rebel rousers have been sprouting up like weeds lately, each offering the same bill of goods. They say anything else about the beast? Besides it being a messenger of the gods? The two Chantois are no fools. They see clearly the beast kills on days honoring patron saints. Picky monster. <laughs> okay, I'll go examine the body. Thanks for the hospitality. <laughs> Time I examined the corpse. Corvo Bianco lies a short way from here, near the tourney grounds. Just follow the road and you'll arrive. Not coming with? Oh yeah, duty of some sort calls. Some sort? <laughs> Her grace bestowed a great honor on me, even before we departed for Velen. I'm to play the hare during this year's game in the palace gardens. When you see me in my costume, you will wet yourself laughing. A little tempted to ask a few questions, but it sounds like <laughs> a long, complicated story. One involving lengthy digressions into local history and tradition. So, see you later, Milton, and good luck. Alright, guys. Oh, loot. What loot? Uh, what? Okay. I've never seen that before. Uh, dear fellow Gwent lovers, yes. <laughs> Allow me to present myself. Count Monnier, the organization of this Gwent tournament. As you most probably know, I have introduced a new faction to our beloved game, Skelliger. Oh, I can't wait, guys. I am convinced this step shall add variety to our pastime, further perfecting its perfection.
I shall be delighted if you choose to play this faction during our event. Good luck and good Gwent to you all. Um, okay, oh, what's that? Um, I'll leave this here for you guys to read. So I'll leave it out there for a few seconds. You can pause it, etc. Okay, and then we'll go down. Okay, awesome. Right, let's have a look around. What's this? Oh, Jesus, platters. <laughs> okay. What's going on there? Okay, we're going to talk to this dude. Guys, I'm going to tell you one thing. As much as I love, I adore the Northern Realms deck. I absolutely love... What is that? Wait, give me a sec, guys. I've never seen this before. Oh, check it out. No, I have to read this. Um, uh, This is the story about Goliath, the giant that we just killed. Right, how Louis, Louis, or Louis, Louis Alberni became Goliath. There were many brave and true knights in the service of the old duke, but the greatest of them all was Louis uh, Alberni. His crest showed a red field with a golden star, each of whose five points stood for one of the chivalric <laughs> virtues. I can't read today. Yet fame and glory went to Alberni's head. Years passed, and he began to think of himself the most perfect of all knights. In the end, he came to think he was virtue incarnate, and there was no one in the world who preceded him in this regard, something even the Lady of the Lake must recognise. Alberni thus set off to see her and have her pay him homage in honour of his excellency. Yet, as Alberni approached the lady's home, his body and equipment began to change. The slender knight grew more and more corpulent, uh, corpulent until his horse could finally no longer bear him. His sword first became wooden, then turned into a mace, and his shining armour became dull and turned to ash. All he had left was his helmet, which turned into a wooden cage. Alberni stood on the shore of the lake, wishing to speak, yet all that came from his lips was a wild cry. The knight peered at his reflection in the lake's waters and understood he had become a giant. The Lady of the Lake then emerged and said, you abandoned the chivalric uh, virtues long ago. Of all your sins, the greatest was pride. It has changed your sword into a mace, deprived you of armour, and made your flesh into that of a beast. From now on, you shall be known as Goliath. Go to Mount Gorgon, where you shall live in this form far from the eyes of men, accompanied by the painful memory of your lost glory, until the day death mercifully frees you from your torment. Oh dear, poor man. <laughs> he got punished because he was just um, an arrogant son of a bitch. <laughs> anyway, we one-shotted him in the eye, so he's not going to be a problem anymore. Right, this dude. Let's talk to him. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Hair pate uh, recipe. I'll leave that there for you to pause and read. You know what? I may try one of these recipes. <laughs> they sound really tasty. Yeah, the music's a bit low. I don't know if... Um, anyway. Crayfish chowder recipe. So I'll leave that there for a few seconds. Okay. Now let's talk to this dude and then we'll move on. No, not except... Oh, Jesus. Geralt, please. <laughs> please, not in the DLC. Come on. Uh, normally, I'd encourage you to try our famed fisherman's chowder. But alas, we are all out of crayfish. Could replace them with something else. Perch, for example. Replace crayfish with fish? I beg you. What next? Vinegar for wine? Parsley for thyme? Huh? Your nordlings are a pleasant lot, but about cuisine you know nothing. All right, calm down. Jesus. <laughs> We're going to play Gwent. That's why I want to speak to him. Got any gossip? Fishermen talking about anything interesting? Yes. About a Nortling who would replace crayfish with pike. Ask a serious <laughs> question. Mm, and a tactless one. I do not if stroke on my clients, and I certainly don't repeat anything I chance to hear. By the way, can I have your daughter's phone number? She's actually quite hot. <laughs> right, let's check this out. Let me see what he sells. Show me what you got in stock. Okay, right. Um, you can safely sell your bits and pieces here. Uh, what I mean is your drinks, etc. Uh, why have I got... No, I changed this. Oh, never mind. Whatever, whatever. You can sell your drinks to... Um, well, everything. All your food stuff uh, to 
these merchants because they give excellent prices. Okay, let's play Gwen. Oh, <laughs> let's go all in, guys. Not likely to taste your famous fisherman's <laughs> chowder, so maybe we could play some Gwent. Oh, dear fellow, with a fish hook like that, you must have your pick of the ladies. <laughs> what? Sorry, guys, that uh, took me off guard. Right, guys, we're going to face Skelliger. I cannot wait to actually use Skelliger for myself because I love that deck. It's, it's okay, basically, um, let's uh, start. Okay, it's a risk for rewards deck. It's, oh, no, don't want that. Okay, I've got a spy. Give me a sec, guys. Uh, oh, I don't know. It's too mixed. And as usual, no decoys. Bloody hell. Um, I don't have a medic either. Oh, I do, I do. I've got Yennefer. Uh, guys, screw it. Let's just go in. Skelliger is dangerous. Do not underestimate it. It's an awesome deck. I freaking love it. Right, we're going to flush out any big cards or whatever. With Gauntro Dim, no less. <laughs> Right, long. See, he's he's also got musters, guys. I cannot wait to start playing. Um, to get a absolutely awesome uh, Skelliger deck, you know, put together. Oh, look at that! Two <laughs> decoys. Wow, that might be a bit too much, though. I'm sorry, that's a bit too much. Um, we want to win this round, guys. So let's put. Yeah, I guess you'll have to go. Sorry. Okay. Need to get a decent card. Please help me, game. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, we got a Scorch. That's good. Um, He's going to have to put a card out. Now, the thing is, he's got an ability to destroy all of these cards in your graveyard. Let me show you. Okay, Crack on Crate. <laughs> Shuffles all cards from each player's graveyard back into their decks. Oh, dear. Okay. Do I want to do anything, though? No. Let's just pass. Let's just pass, guys. Okay. <laughs> Why well, you used that as well? Why would he do that? Why would he do that, guys? He just needed the two. I don't get it. Right, his special ability is... <laughs> oh, my God. It's actually a decent ability. They will bring out two cards from their um, graveyard straight away. He's already on 16 bloody points. <laughs> okay, let's put a hero card. Where's the spy? Does he not have a medic? Burner Brand. Okay, there's a the medic. Right, here we go. So let's capture him. What is he again? I think he's a, were a berserker, I think. Yeah, Jesus. Okay. 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 Okay, I've got another spy. That's good. They're all fours, guys. Oh, damn it. He's doubled up on something. Okay, these are lethal cards, man. Uh, these are shield maidens. Anyway, listen, I won't explain too much. I'd just rather you see it for yourselves. Okay, how do we want to do this? We want to do this. Bye. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, do you see what I mean, guys? So, basically, my graveyard is empty. I can't medic out... Uh, what? No, no, I don't want to do that. See, I can't medic anything out now because he used that ability. Very useful. It's very useful. Oh, shite. Okay. Oh, he only ha he didn't have any. That's good. That's actually a muster for ships. Uh, very, very, very dangerous. Okay. Let's put this. I could use Philly, but... Tight bonds. I'm sorry, that's actually a tight bond. Guys, Skellige is no joke. It's it's a lethal deck. It really is. Um, okay, I'll save him. 
What do I want to do? You know what? Let me put... Okay, okay, Dory. I know what to do. Oh, shite. Ceres. Oh, crap. Oh, nothing came... No, no, no. Here we go. Shield Maidens. There you go, guys. <laughs> I'm getting my ass kicked. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, but check this out. I've got Billy, so we're okay. So we're okay for now. But, um, guys, just trust me when I say... Do, do not underestimate this deck. It's lethal. <laughs> lethal. Okay, so we got a lot to catch up. Oh, what? Oh, because it's been reshuffled. Oh, crap. Okay, let's put this out. Uh, let's put Uncle Vesemi, I guess. Oh, damn it. I, I wanted to get rid of these two, but I can't. There's nothing I can do about it. All right, let's put... Um, yeah, has got nothing to medic. Jesus. Okay, let's do this row. I guess we can put this out. <laughs> Just for the hell of it. And uh, let's put Philippa. We are done. But guys... <laughs> guys, listen. Skellig is no joke. Very risky. But it's super powerful. Um, I love it. I love the risk. Really exciting deck to play with. Okay. 100 crowns, and we should win a Skelliger card. <laughs> yes! Cla What's Clam Drummond, Shield Maiden. Okay. So there you go. That's opened up the Never Fear Skelligers here. So we got to visit the dude that created the deck. Oh my god, I'm so excited, guys. Uh, listen, you have no idea. I am so excited. Right, we've got some work to do, though. We've got some work to do. Look at that. Oh, God. The mighty shall fall I could live here. I could literally live here forever. Anyway, okay. I'll stop gushing over the <laughs> graphics and the landscape. We've got work to do because um, it's going to be a tough fight coming up. Oh, Jesus. I don't want this. Sorry, one second, guys. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Oh, look at that mountain. And look at the sky. Guys, look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, sorry. I, I'm doing it again. I keep gushing over. I can't help it. I'm sorry, man. I can't help it. Sounds like a fight. Uh oh. To hurry. Okay. Jesus. Show me what you got. Just like a horror movie. All right. Right, we need a few things. We need Vampire Roll, and so we're going to need Moon Dust. Gosh, I'm really nervous. <laughs> oh, check it out. Look at that. She go. Oh. Must still be here. What did I guy? Uh, did you see that? There's some subtitles there. She grr or something, something. Okay, here we go. Throat torn open by man like jaws, man like. Gurgle. For long fangs. Can you see him? Oh dear, poor man. Anyway, let's um. From the years, took a solid hit, massacred by a vampire. Not an Ekimara, though, or a Fletter, Bruxa, gotta be killed with a single blow. Right. Okay, here we go. Oh, uh, by the way, I'm gonna read that thing about the beasts as well. Not necrophages, we want vampires. Bruxa. If you must travel through the woods, steer clear of any places where you can hear several different kinds of birds at once. That sound means you're entering a Bruxa's territory and can kiss your life farewell. Anonymous piece of advice. Fortunately for us all, Bruxae are rare creatures. Most live far from the population centers, for they care greatly for their own safety and make their lairs in places where they cannot be taken by surprise. Those who decide to live near men avoid crowds and emerge from their shelters only at night. When they do, one could almost mistake them for delayed Delayed travellers hurrying towards their night's lodging. 
Yet subtle sight, uh, details give them away. Their close ties to birds, their piercing voices and the uh, breathtaking speed of their movements. Broxay are far swifter and stronger than men, but their greatest asset is their ability to turn invisible. Broxay darts about with uncanny speed, and with the power of invisibility, they can easily confuse opponents and attack unexpectedly or from behind. Thus, when fighting these vampires, the Moon Dust Bomb is a great aid. While it cannot eliminate the vampire's invisibility altogether, it can make it easier to track its motions. A generous smearing of vampire oil is also effective. Oh shit, sorry. Broxe used their sharp cl uh, claws to attack and can easily break through an opponent's guards by buffeting him with a hail of blows from all directions. They will try to bite their prey and drink its blood once it is weakened. So every witcher who expects to encounter such a monster should swallow a black blood potion beforehand. Broxe are also known for their sonic attacks, which knock down and stun their prey. Oh boy, <laughs> this is going to be tough. Okay, so Yerdan's effective, black blood, etc, etc, and very quickly guys, the Beast of Buclair. Eyewitnesses to gruesome monster attacks always have a hard time describing the creature in question. The beasts move quickly and often attack at night, while the witnesses are terrified and primarily concerned with fleeing for their lives. As a result, witches quite often have no inkling what creature they face until they find tracks or otherwise establish something for themselves. Such was the case with the beast tormenting Buclair. Geralt knew it was deadly, elusive, and fiendishly clever. Everything else he heard was clearly the product of imaginations fed by fear of a dangerous predator. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay. Black blood and moon dust could be lifesavers. All right, guys, and check it out. Remember that lady? Now, this is the confusing thing about it. She's apparently the daughter of the innkeeper. Anyway, whatever. The woman from the inn was wearing this coat. Oh god. Okay, is there any more? Just these, I guess. In the cellar, <clears throat> be. River Muck carried the body in his cart. Okay, so that's been examined. What about you? Claw wounds from five separate claws spread of a small human hand. Oh wait, loots. Oh gosh, here we go, guys. Oh, poor man. Hey. Footprints. Small bare feet. Lead deeper into the cellar. Fell down the stairs. Broke his neck. Okay. Hey. Oh, God damn it. All right, anyway. Hurled against the wall with great force. Oh, shit. That was creepy. Someone just opened a the door there. Right, we can't examine his corpse. That's fine. Is there anything here? No, nothing. Okay. All right, let's go. Took a lot of strength to batter this down. I love the tension, guys. It's amazing. Used this to batter down the grate. All right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to change something, guys. I don't need killing spree. It's going to be a single enemy we're going to fight. So what I'm going to do is put... Yeah, just sy synergy will be great. So we have more attack power. Oh, God. <laughs> Here we go. She was eavesdropping at the uh, inn. You saw you at the inn. I know what you are. Don't know why you killed these people, though. Clearly wasn't for their blood. We don't have to fight. You are wrong.
Oh well, not much of a conversation list. Oh great. <laughs> I cannot let you leave. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, throw beam dust. Okay, and let's put a black blood. Uh here we go. No, not that. Jesus. Oh, God. She's so fast. Um, what do I want to do? Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's do that. What the hell? Where is she? Guys, I love the music, man. Really? Get out. Get out. Jesus Christ. God damn it. I tried to parry her, it didn't work. Where is she? <laughs> God. She's nearly down. She's nearly down. <laughs> well, she's going to bleed to death anyway. <laughs> she actually killed herself. <laughs> Yeah, she killed herself because of black blood. Kill all these men to get to the body. What was she doing at the table, though? All right, guys, we're gonna check it out. Uh, give me a second. Was there anything else here? You can normally get one shot if you uh, use odds, but I couldn't get get to her in time, so that was a bit unfortunate. Uh, guys, I've not played this for a year, so <laughs> over a year, nearly two years, so I don't remember everything. Anyway. Oh, God, check it out. He's been hacked to pieces, but anyway. Uh, stinks. Waterlogged. Both hands amputated. Body was quartered just as I thought. Laid in water for some time. Head swollen, and something took a few bites out of it. Hmm. Something in the throat. A pouch, bulging with coins. Elf guardian florins, from several different provinces. If the murderer did this, means we're dealing with a sentient thinking beast. Body was chopped up after death. Blows struck with great force, but bones sliced through, not crushed. Creature that killed him had long claws. Sharp as a witcher's blade. First sank its claws into the victim's heart. No Bruxa did this. Third hand. The spare. Except it's clearly not the victim's. Guardsmen must have not noticed it as they picked everything up. How's this possible? Still warm. Blood still flowing. Several monster species can regenerate. Never heard of that happening to their severed limbs, Jesus. Though. More of their limbs seeming completely alive after so much time. Examine the tissue more closely later. Might learn something. So, murderer was clearly a monster, but not a Bruxa. But then why'd the Bruxa come here for the severed hand? And who does the hand belong to? Why the hell's it still warm? Now, how it shoved down the victim's throat. What's the significance? And why was he chopped up into pieces? Lots of questions. No answers so far. Need to know about the other victims. I'll ask Palmerin to get me in to see the Duchess. Alright, guys. <clears throat> so that is, that is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, man. When I first played this, I was like, oh, my God. This is so exciting. Okay. So let's get out of here. Let's go up this way. 9 a.m. Oh, wow. Okay. Anyway, so we've examined everything here. Um, wants us to go that way. Let me just check the map uh, real quick. I haven't seen the map yet. Okay, so this is where the tawny grounds are. Um, I guess we could go there. Look at that. Guys, look at the size of this map. Right? <laughs> it's it's going to get bigger when we unlock some more, um, you know, question marks, etc. Uh, but, guys, this is... 
look, it's meant to be a DLC, but this is like a, an entire game on its own. All right, so what we'll do is uh, we may as well just follow the white dots. So we'll get Roach and let's get a move on. Now run fast. Okay, here we go. Okay, through here, I guess. <laughs> okay. Why is it raining? It never rains in Tucson. Jesus. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Oh, I'll tell you what, guys. Sorry. Give me a second. I'm going to meditate. I don't like this rain. It's horrible. <laughs> give me a sec. We can't do the rest of this um, at night time. It has to be during the day. Still raining? No. Bit cloudy though. But anyway. Okay, so we want to be in here. <laughs> this is a tawny grounds. Awesome. <laughs> And there's a ton of people we can play Gwent with as well. We need to complete the Skelliger deck, especially for the tournament. Um, but yeah, that's... Oh, man, I'm saying to go here. Right, that's where he is, but give me a moment, guys. I need to find my favourite barber of all time. <laughs> I don't know where he is, but... <laughs> Jesus, that lady's lost lost the plot. Anyway, check it out. This is this is a discount, Geralt. <laughs> hey, Geralt, how you doing? Welcome, my good sir. Need a bit of grooming. I just need a beard trim, guys. It's too bushy. All right, beard's got. Oh, he plays Gwen. Okay, not now, not now. But um, keep it fluffy. I think it's this. I think. I'm not sure. Come on. Yep, that's it. Perfect. Okay, we'll play Gwent with him, but at least, at least we know so it's him. That's awesome. Okay. Okay. <laughs> anyway, let's go this way. Oh, man, it's so beautiful. You always trumps villainy, but his friends at his side. You best to go yet. He restored peace to the land. Right, basically, we're gonna have a fight. Um, I'd advise to put relic toilet. I think it's relic, I'm pretty sure it is. And we obviously we're gonna take our uh, buffs as well, guys. I don't remember this too well, but I have a feeling we're gonna need salmon. I think. Forgive me, I could be wrong. Um, but I'm pretty certain it's that. Anyway. Need to speak to the Duchess urgently. All right, you scamps. Store is done. Go find your parents. But the Palmerin, what about the story of Ritik and the dragon? A tale's for another time. But take a good look at the man who stands before you now. This is Geralt of Rivia. The master witcher who lent his valiant hand to the defeat of the giant Goliath. Master witcher, is it true virtue always trumps villainy? Uh, not really. Not necessarily. No, the strong... Hmm. Oh, wait, wait, this one. Yeah, I I'd like this one. Not always. Could go either way. Sometimes virtue wins, sometimes villainy gets the upper hand. Still worth being good. Palmerin's story. Think back. A decent man attracts other good folk, makes friends he can count on. A rogue? Well, he can only count on other rogues. And who would you rather have for a friend? A man of virtue? I must agree. Now, <laughs> that will do for questions. Go find your parents. 
Her enlightened highness has doubtless arrived at the tourney grounds to watch the battle in the arena. If we hurry, we'll be in time to speak with her before the spectacle begins. Lead the way. Who's fighting? Elf Guardian gladiators? Close, but not quite. As you will soon see. Someone's gonna fight a shale mar? With only some elves on its tail to confuse it, slow it down? Whatever is the problem? The beast is a gift from the Emperor, no less. Very cruel. <laughs> Whole thing's dangerous. Shouldn't torture her like that. Nothing's the matter. Shouldn't torment the beast. How would you like to be dumped in an arena, blindfolded with a string of bells dangling from your ass? Pity a monster. You, a witcher. I slay monsters who are a threat to humans. You're out to humiliate one to entertain a crowd. No knight will gain any glory from this. Who's going to fight the beast? Guillaume, the young man you met. Yeah. Mentioned he promised his heart's capture a monster trophy. Great love demands great sacrifices. Let's go. Dedicate my imminent victory to fair lady Vivian. I love his sword, it's awesome. It's begun. The fight shall have to end first. We must wait. Oh dear. Damn it. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Oh, that must have hurt, man. Jesus. We have to help him. Okay, right. Basically, what you do is. No, man. Oh, jeez. Oh crap. Right. Um okay, I'll talk later, guys. You're supposed to <laughs> Jesus. Okay. to the beast. The fate of the beast has been weighed by the Okay. So what you do is throw a bomb at the wall. Okay, here we go. Then we get some free hits on it. Okay, here we go. Just a bit of patience. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. Oh, shite. Okay. Damn, I'm running. I've only got one bomb left. I could use Grape Shot, I suppose. Okay. Oh, damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, throw it. No, you. Oh, girl, will you stop it? Jesus. Oh, crap. Why didn't it go to the thing? Okay, here we go. Story is nearly down. Nearly down. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Idiot. Okay, we did it. Easy peasy. So just throw a bomb at the wall. It'll hear that and it'll go straight for the wall. The 
shall my life defeated by Geralt of Rithia, master of the witchering trade. Behold, as the last gasps of life seep from the beast. Master Geralt, do what you must. Finish the deed. I'm gonna spare him. You can kill it if you want Monster to, but there's no yeah. threat. No need to kill it. A victor may always show mercy. It is his right. Long live Geralt the Merciful. Pikeman, see to the beast. Came damned close to dying. I'm fine. Not hurt at all. Vivian? <laughs> Forget Vivian, Smile Jesus. As befits a hero and keep silent. Speech clearly paints you. She approaches. Oh gosh. <laughs> I love Anna Henrietta, she's Geralt. stunning. <laughs> we must gorgeous. Talk. Vivian. Forget Vivian, we Jesus. Shall talk later. In the medic's tent. Geralt, magnificent, breathtaking. Thank you, Your Grace. <laughs> we knew that to summon you was a brilliant idea. We are delighted, raffish, to have struck upon it. Oh, Vivian's actually all right as well. <laughs> uh, Honoured. See to our young hero. Hop, hop, for we must make off with Geralt. We should talk. We had been long awaiting your arrival. Had nearly lost hope. Then suddenly, that entrance, so spectacular. Go on. <laughs> anyway, fight against Shalomir, arrange something like that for small bad idea. Your Grace, Shalemars are dangerous creatures, even to knights in full plate armor. Nonsense. In Toussaint, knights have battled beasts for mere glory since time immemorial. True. Guillaume suffered a few bumps, scars, and bruises, but in return gained eternal glory as he who slew the monster. Mm -hmm. What about the crowd? Say the Shalemar had vaulted into the stands. Would have been a massacre. Geralt, though we value your fortuitous intervention in the arena, we would remind you your services have been retained, and as shall soon become clear, you will be generously compensated for completing another task altogether. Okay. Your Grace, my contract. I'd like to discuss it. Naturally, but not here. We shall need Damien. He let the investigation pending your arrival. But whatever could he be? Come, we must find him. Tell us, have you come alone? Or did Viscount Julian accompany you? Wish to see Dandelion, Your Grace? Yes. I mean, no. <laughs> uh. <sighs> yes. But solely to tell him we regret. Yes, deeply regret rescinding the death sentence we so justly handed down upon him. If we could turn back time, we would make certain he sat in a tower till he rotted. No, we would ensure he was broken on the wheel, then drawn, hanged, and quartered. <laughs> Dandelion and Anna Henrietta used to be together, and I think he cheated ah, on her. <laughs> the very man we would entrust with his So tasks. she's a bit pissed. <laughs> Damien de la Tour, captain of my personal guard. Your Grace, Witcher. Greetings. Sorry to have to tell you. But the guardsmen handling the last victim's body... I know already. The creature in the cellar of Corfo Bianco. Was it the beast? No. A bruxa. A kind of vampire. Not the beast, but tied to it in some way. You know this how? Through careful analysis of the evidence, both on the riverbank and at Corvo Bianco. Do you mean to insinuate the investigation thus far has been what? sloppy? What? Geralt no. insinuates nothing. Exactly! Else. Jesus! We must listen to him attentively. When did he say that? My God! <laughs> anyway. 
I examined the body of the beast's last victim. Might have found something. Need to analyze it. A quiet place. That's what I could use most right now. And maybe the help of an alchemist or a mage. Also like to hear all you know about the previous victims. Take it Sir Delatour is my man for that. Firstly, call me Damien, please. Secondly, you should know I spoke against summoning you here. I've heard much about you. You bring trouble, or thus far have, always. And we've enough trouble as it is. Yet we are capable of defeating the beast on our own, without an outsider's help. I've no doubt about it. Damien, we settled the matter of the Witcher's employ some time past. Definitively. Since you have broached it, nonetheless, let us discuss Geralt's pay. Are the legends true? Do witchers usually demand that which you find at home, yet did not expect? Yes, no, not always. I'll choose that because I don't really know much about it, guys, so... Not quite, <coughs> Your Grace. Law of surprise, it's something we invoke at times, but rarely. Usually we just take gold. Disappointing. This law sounds rather romantic. On the other hand, on returning to the palace, we would likely find impatient petitioners or a set of sample fabrics for a new dress. Poor rewards both. I fear you'd not have much use for any of the surprises we are likely to come upon. Thus, we've decided you shall receive the deed to a vineyard, Corvo Bianco, and a sum of coin. You will doubtless consider this adequate. Of course. <laughs> the title to the vineyard shall be given to you at once. Surely you'll need lodgings while you hunt. The coin, however, will be yours only once you have slain the beast. Lovely, generous gesture, Your Grace. But uh, Corvo Bianco, isn't it the Duchy's temporary morgue? Is it now? The Chancellery has bungled things again, we fear. Not to be left unsupervised for one instant. Yet, in its mood, a morgue should present minimal problems to a witcher. What's more, nothing enhances a wine's reputation better than a grim legend. Thank you, Your Grace. I accept the contract, of course. But as I said before, I'll need some information. Okay. How'd it start? Who was the first victim? Crispy was the first to die. He was famed once for his many glorious tournament victories. Then he grew old, hung up his sword, and took to winemaking. Crespi was not loved by the wine merchants. He was ruthless in business and thought to cheat many a time. He asked us for a dispensation from all court ceremonies. We did not grant it. We could not. Once you've taken the oath of a knight, you remain a knight till death. How'd he die? Where'd they find the body? Quite unusual, the circumstance. He was at a feast when suddenly one of his fellow feast goers noticed he was missing. The town watch found him an hour later. On his hands and knees, propped against the town pillory, his sword hanging from his neck. He had died of wounds inflicted with claws, not a weapon. Blows of great force. So he died suddenly, but the body was on its knees, meaning someone posed it. So it seems. Uh, guys, just a quick one. I don't know what's causing the flickering um, in the cutscene. I have no idea what's happening. That must be a bug. So apologies for that. Second murder. Tell me what you know. In the city, there are certain nooks. No one reasonable ventures there after dark. Ramon Dulac's corpse was found in one such place. With the first murder, terror gripped the city. Its inhabitants grew wary, kept to safe areas. Consequently, news of the second victim came to us from a group of concerned cut purses. Criminals fear the beast? Telling in a way. Take it you've excluded the possibility that Ramon died at the hands of these bandits. Do you believe me, an amateur? Not hands, but claws killed Ramon Dulac. The wound was deep, clean. His body was found in the gutter, dressed in nightshirt and cap. A pillow placed under his head and his sword replaced by a bed warmer. Ramon de Lac, a knight who but a dozen years past was an advisor to our father, the Duke. Someone went to a lot of trouble to make him look ridiculous. Maybe revenge was the motive. It's not out of the question. Dulac had shady dealings with the criminal underworld. 
But no one ever came forth with concrete proof of any misdoings. So, the first two victims were knights, best years behind them. The same could be said of the third. Sir Delacroix was wont to claim that in modern times, knights face new challenges. Enterprise being the latest addition to the chivalric virtues. He made a veritable fortune in the grain trade. Palmerin even nicknamed him Sir de la Stinci. Found a coin pouch on his body. Contained florins dating from various times, hailing from different provinces of the Empire. Delacroix loved coin, true, but had no patience for numismatics. Okay, so we've done all of that. Victims, okay, this one. Lots of similarities between the victims. All the bodies were found in strange places under extraordinary circumstances. Seems the murderer, whoever or whatever it is, has some meaning to convey. These were honorable men. We are horrified by the disdain, the disrespect with which they were treated. These were knights of Toussaint. Blast it. Might be the point. From what you say, none was a model of virtue. Ever considered that's what the beast's trying to draw attention to? All the murdered men were knights who swore fealty to the five chivalric virtues. And even if Knights the... of Toussaint swear fealty to what virtues exactly? Honor, wisdom, generosity, valor, and compassion. Five virtues. Why are they so important to your knights? Strange question. Your grace, forgive me. I'm a foreigner trying to understand another land's customs. You are forgiven. According to legend, the virtues we cultivate were bestowed upon us by the Lady of the Lake. How we truly came to espouse them, none remember. In Toussaint, we believe men of low birth should be simple-hearted and obedient. We expect much more, however, of our knights. They are to be soldiers and courtiers, lords and servants. Thus, the need for clear moral guidelines. At the time of his dubbing, a knight vows to demonstrate throughout his life Honor, wisdom, generosity, valor, and compassion. Beast seems to be pointing up moral decay, denouncing it. Victims were all humiliated. Might have been murdered to emphasize their lack of specific chivalric virtues. Honor, compromised by the pillory. Wisdom, by ridicule. Generosity, by a coin pouch shoved down a throat. It seems to fit, true, though not perfectly. Can't discount the theory if it's on the lips of everyone in town. Say our reasoning's right. Next murder will be just as showy and denounce the victim's lack of the fourth virtue, valor. We can also assume that victim will be an elder knight. Let's think. At the moment, all the knights are either at the tourney grounds or in the palace gardens. Our annual hare hunts shall begin there shortly. Have you heard of the custom? Milton mentioned something. Seemed excited to prance around in a bunny costume. Not sure why. Hang on. Strange circumstances. A knight advanced in years. The famed cowardice of rabbits. Could it be that simple? Is Milton de Peyrac Peyren the next victim? Milton also knew Delacroix. Told mm. me so down by the river. Damien! To me something so obvious. De Peyrac Peyren, Crespi, Delacroix, and Delac formed a knightly team. It was years ago, but... They were a team? They were close friends, tightly knit, and as such, earned the trust of our father, the Duke. We often witnessed him turn to them with delicate matters. Later, their paths diverged. Unlikely to be a coincidence. Beast must know it too. It's a lead, I'm sure. Your Grace, we need to find Melton immediately. Rather problematic. You see, the garden entertainments are due to start, and he's disguised as the hare, hiding somewhere, waiting for some tipsy courtiers to find him. The hare's hiding place is a carefully guarded secret. We must call off the game at once. First and foremost, we must remain calm. Damien, order the garden searched immediately, but discreetly. By no means can we disrupt the festivities. Panic will only incite the beast to strike sooner. And you, Witcher, follow me. My gardens, my knight, I shall take the fall. A murder is out of the question. I will not allow it. Not near my palace. Horses! Ready our horses!
Your Grace. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> what the hell? Why I should Your Highness, I mind it doesn't get wrinkled. <laughs> I like this lady. <laughs> <laughs> anyway all right guys uh okay let's do this hey why are you slowing down stop it <laughs> jesus i'll read that thing about the sh i'll read that thing about the shallower later on Sharp right, okay. Oh crap. Oh shit. Oh, oh. <laughs> Roach did that thing where she locks straight and she doesn't turn. And look at those kids. Let's follow her. <laughs> Guys, this, <laughs> this, this, oh, the palace is incredible. You gotta remember, people had to sit down and design all of this, you know? Code it in, etc. What, what a marvelous job they did. Uh, where is she? Oh. Okay, here we go, here we go. They sing. Oh god, look at that. Sorry, anyway. Oh, uh, hey. Well, I can't Hurry. go any faster. Oh, okay, I see. Right, where is she? We must go to where the game is being held. The participants must find a unicorn's horn, a golden fish, and a phoenix egg. Okay. With these in hand, they can deduce where the hare, Milton, hides. I mean we need to find those things too. We've no other option, but time is of the essence, so we shall have to break the rules. Oh my god, that's stunning! Jesus! Oh, wow. Anyway, anyway. Here. I shall show you where the hunt plays out. Then we will split up. You will get hold of the unicorn horn and the golden fish. But I nab the phoenix egg. That will be quickest. Uh, what? I don't know. Uh, this one. I don't know. Golden fish. Do I need a rod or a net? Please, Geralt. It's not a real fish. Look there, towards the water. See the lights? The hunters are trying to hook the fish from boats. You must simply dive in and find it. A unicorn. How do I catch it? It's terribly skittish, true, but I'm sure you will find a way to earn its trust. It turns around over there. Look. Okay. The golden fish and the horn both contain things or clues that will help us find Milton. Once you have fish and horn, find me among the other Phoenix egg hunters. All clear? Then let's get to it. All right, guys. Um, I may get lost, <laughs> so my apologies. But okay, look for the unicorn. Shall I do the unicorn? Yeah, let's do the unicorn first, and then we'll do the fish. Get out of the way, Anna Henrietta. Right down here, I guess. <laughs> okay, just having a look around. I haven't been here for two years, guys, so <laughs> I'm just taking it all in. Wait a minute. It's telling me to go up here. Oh, crap. Is this where the unicorn is? Oh, I don't remember how to do this. Right, there's a unicorn. Um, I don't remember how to do this, guys. Perhaps an apple will work. Or some sweets. We would not be in this predicament, dear sister. Were you still a virgin? Do you really wish to have this conversation again? Here and now? Hush, or you'll spook the beast. We shall try the sweets. 
Hey, folks. Gonna have to ruin your fun. Sorry. Who's that? It's gonna run away, though. I guess I could try an apple. Um, I should have some in my inventory. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, I, I think it's an apple. Um, I think. <laughs> so I'm not sure. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh, I don't know what to do. How do I do this? Uh, yeah, I guess we could do that, right? Oh, 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 okay, okay, I made a mistake. Find a treat. So, here we go. My bad. Examine. Thank unicorns. Rainbows, pretty girls. Sweets, maybe. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is there any more? Cold games not likely to tempt a unicorn. And what about that? Crispy apple. Like that, like any other damn horse. I'm pretty sure it's the apple. I don't see how it could be a cookie. Look, I don't know much about horses. I think horses are amazing. But I would not expect cookies. <laughs> so, anyway, I don't know. Could be wrong. Leave in the comments if I'm incorrect about that. Um, Geralt, can you run? Uh, guys, this is not me. Geralt will just not sprint. An apple. Yum, yum. <laughs> oh, it's coming. It's coming over. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yum, yum. Enjoy. Easy. Okay. All right, so that's Guns that. Huge. Be better off on horseback. Really? Okay, that's a hint. Hey, you mean I can't do that now? Hey! Oh my God, are you kidding me? Okay, I can't summon Roach. It won't let me. Great. Okay, we'll go down here then, I guess. Oh, for God's sake, really? No, come on, please. What are you doing here, kid? Jesus. Sorry, what is up here? Give me a sec, guys. Just random. What is this? I swear I recognise this. Like, I had to collect something from here. I don't know what. Oh, no. If, it, if it's just going on and on and on. Yeah, let's leave it. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to see what was here. I think there's a fire retard up there. <laughs> or fire swallower. Okay. Alright, guys, so we're gonna go here now. This should be easy to spot once I'm under. Oh, God. Yeah, this is a little bit problematic. Okay, what? I never get the right one, guys. I never get it. But I'm going to guess it's this one. <laughs> nope, that's candy. Jesus Christ. Oh, there he is. Wait. Go, 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 go. <laughs> I don't want Toffee. I don't care about that. Come on. Go, go, go. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? What? Okay. Quick before I run out of air. I guys, uh, nothing's coming up. I don't understand. What am I doing wrong? I don't understand. Oh, okay. Th this isn't working. I need to get air. Jesus. <laughs> okay, I sorry, I don't know what I'm looking for. I can't see anything else, so what the hell? Oh my lord, this is unbelievable. Okay, give me a sec. Hey, get up there, Jesus. Okay. I'm going on the surface to see if I can 
There it is. Jesus. Please don't be candy or toffee, please. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Has to be this one. Has to be. Come on. You bastard. No! <laughs> no! Ah, give me back my fish. Jesus. Hey, wait. Stop. It's important. King Cormorant Sire, accept this offering we bring. Pretty cast upon us your merciful eye and bear before us its secrets. As the moon is heavenly course up trace, in my domain I await that moment of grace when a soul of good or ill repute brings me a gift, fitting tribute. <laughs> Okay, good. A key. Why, you bomb-botched wretch! Oh, he's ruined the game! Disgraceful! <laughs> oh, the outrage. <laughs> oh, gosh, how outraged they must be. Right, anyway, let's go. Oh, Jesus, go! <laughs> god damn it. Oh, my god. Oh, it's so beautiful, guys. Sorry, let me just go on here real quick. Oh, look at the boats. They're swans. I never noticed that. That's insane. Oh, my God. This is so beautiful. Oh, anyway. Let's go. I hope I'm going the right way, right? Let's actually go here. Come on, Carol. All right, let's go. An abstract work, gentlemen. The future of art. What is it? I've never seen this before. Stinky. What the hell is that? <laughs> okay, whatever. All right, let's go and find. Hey, <laughs> check it out. <laughs> yes, I've got a unicorn. Sorry, Roach. I'm, I'm not cheating on you. Just uh, borrowing, <laughs> just borrowing this real quick. Look at that peacock. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I get it, guys. Now I understand. You know when when it said earlier that. Okay, you remember when it said I should take a horse? I was trying to call Roach, and Roach wasn't coming. I think what the game the developers wanted me to do was to use the unicorn. So I didn't know that. If you please, Your Grace. We do not please. We act out of the highest necessity. All shall be explained later. But it's against the rules. Oh, Jesus. I am the rule. Exactly. Listen to your queen, whatever you know what I mean. Geralt. At last. Got a key and a clue. And I've another. Show me yours. <laughs> Who wrote this drivel? I begin like a groan, hollowed out with ease, then end like a mouse with a head of heart cheese. Okay, I already know the answer to this. It's a greenhouse. <laughs> Let's see. Groan with ease gives us green, right? And mouse with a head of heart cheese. Greenhouse? You're a genius. I know. Several greenhouses in the gardens, indeed. <laughs> But only one locks, the key to which looks just like the one we found. Greenhouse is there. Let's go. Wait here. Ah. Eight hundred XP. That's awesome. This is awesome, guys. I'm grinning from ear to ear. <laughs> this is so sick.
I'm here. This belong to you, maybe? It did, but you may keep it. I've a new one. I do not know you. I've done you no harm. Yet first you butchered a Bruxer who was dear to me. Now you pursue me. Why? You've killed four innocent people, at least. And you? How many innocents have you cut down? Have I, though? I haven't killed any innocent people, have I? <laughs> Shall I say many? <laughs> Plenty. Even more of the guilty, though. You're next. Hmm. I think not. You see, I have something to do still. More murders? Just one. <sighs> not counting yours. <laughs> Oh gosh. Okay. He is a badass. Deathlaf is one of my favorite characters. Oh Jesus Christ. Sorry, I'm trying to put some vampire oil. What? Okay, ping some vampire oil. But guys, just be careful of him. He is tough. He really is. Uh what else can I do here? Kill again. Shit. Okay, from some Quen. So I'm quiet, guys, because he is quite tough. Uh, listen, if you lose this particular fight, it doesn't matter. Um, okay, but don't worry about it too much. Oh, come on. Okay, from Quen. You bitch. <laughs> I'm doing this for practice because, you know, we're going to have to fight him again. Jesus. That was with a Quen. Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, got him. You were to stay where you were. Regenerate. I know you're in trouble. I can help. I'll help myself! No, he's my friend. Yes, Geralt, it's me. Regis? You all right? All is well. All's in order. Wounds such as these heal on vampires in moments. But we've not seen one another in ages, my friend. At least in human terms, that is. How's this even possible? Last I saw you... We... I was a bubbling, shapeless oh, smear. Oh, man. Having been rather spectacularly melted into a column of a certain castle. In somewhat better shape now, as you can see. Hardly peak for, mind you, but were I human, folk would think me a demigod, I dare say. <laughs> I'm sorry. What happened? It was my fault. Never got a chance to apologize. No need, Geralt. Bygones. I did not have to join you on that expedition. No one twisted my arm. Alright guys, just want to say quickly, at the beginning of my Witcher 3 playthrough, um, I did mention this. Regis is actually my, uh, just my personal, you know, favorite character in the entire whole of Witcher. It's Regis. I don't know much about him, you know, beyond 
this game. But he is my all-time favorite character. Um, and I'm so happy I'm playing this again. It's just awesome, man. It's like seeing a best friend you've not seen in years. But anyway. Miraculous regeneration. How do you manage it? I had help from the one you hunt. Him? How? And what have you been doing all these years? Not the time nor place for such stories. I suspect we'll get a chance to speak at ease and at length later. Now, however, we must deal with the reason that brought us both here. <laughs> Local serial killer seems to obey you. Maybe you could talk him out of it, convince him to stop murdering. Why do you think I've come? It shall not be easy, as death laugh can be rather stubborn. Though you must certainly recall that neither do I surrender readily. So that's his name. He's your friend? You might call it that. Though Detlaf is... How would you humans put it? More bestial than I am. But not to worry. I'm working on him. Haven't exactly done a great job with that. He's killed one night since I got here. At least three others before I arrived. For good reason, I'm sure. Understand. Detlaf is not some decadent shit who kills for sport, or to assuage a dryness of throat or a dullness of mood. So in your opinion, what are his reasons? Precisely what I wish to find out. And then I will convince him of the error of his ways. Got a lot of faith in the guy. Despite appearances to the contrary, you two are quite alike. You've both noble hearts, yet you both are wont to perform ignoble deeds. When circumstances force you to, of course. Remember the year 964? <laughs> that was three centuries ago. Blind fear gripped Rivia, Lyria, and Spala. Women and children were dying. Their mutilated, dismembered corpses littered the fields. Brute of Lyria. Read about it. Chewed up almost two hundred, then fell to a common poacher supposedly armed with a dagger blessed by some prophet. It fell to Detlaf, who then found a poacher asleep in the brush near his snares and dropped the fiend's corpse at his feet. And thus, a legend was born. Huh. Vampires rarely help humans. Must have had his own agenda hunting the beast. You err. He slew it for one reason alone. The monster killed a lad who once in the street had offered Detlaf an apple, expecting nothing in return. Terribly mm. noble of him. You do not have a monopoly on altruism, my friend. Vilgefort melted my body. Detlaf found what was left. As per our codex, he had a choice. To leave me where I was, or to care for me and nurture my remains. He chose the latter. Regenerated me at no small expense in his own blood. Do you know what that means to a vampire? The gravity of the endeavor? Probably same thing it means to a human. You owe him your life. Much more than that. The act itself made us blood brethren. Mm. A bond so strong humans cannot even imagine. Which is why I know something ill is afoot. Always had an overdeveloped sense of empathy. Each vampire has a unique talent. One they hone over centuries. It's precisely what renders us so difficult to classify. Detlaf's trump card is his herd instinct, his tribal propensity. In point of fact, he prefers the company of lesser vampires and shuns that of humans. If he walks among you, killing egregiously, it can only mean something's upset him immensely. Anything specific? Some set of things that'd be likely to set him off? <sighs> How should I say this? Detlaf doesn't understand men. Their world, its rules, its conventions. He's naive in a sense. He doesn't comprehend your games, knows not what it means to lie, deceive. <laughs> suggesting he's maladjusted, inventing his rage. I'm suggesting maladjustment can at times breed conflict. But is it the case this time? I cannot say, but intend to find out. Gotta find him before something upsets him even more, and all Beauclair is awash with blood. Well, we share a cause then, just like the old days. Not entirely. I mean, when I find him, you know... I know you've a contract on his head. 
Yet your true task is to stop the beast killing, not necessarily to kill the beast, am I right? All in all, sure. Let us find him. By the time we do, I hope I'll have convinced you Detlaf is no monster. Fine, all right already. But for now, evidence is stacking up against him. Hear that? The posse. Knights must have tracked me here. I prefer they not find me here. I'd makeshift quarters at Mer Lachey's Long Cemetery. We'll meet there. See you. That is awesome. <laughs> Imagine just being able to turn into smoke. <laughs> Gosh, imagine running away from the police. <laughs> we flew here as fast as our courses would carry us. Yet I fear we're late all the same. Pray, where is the beast? Still investigating. About to inspect this site. Withdraw your men before they trample all over the evidence. Ahem, <clears throat> sirs. We must let the Witcher do his work. Milton's murder cannot go unoffensed. <laughs> okay guys i hope you enjoyed that i made this episode extra extra long for you guys right because um i know you've been patiently waiting for blood and wine to start and i needed a break but um i decided screw it we're gonna do a really long episode and in fact just before i end the episode let me read out the uh best sherry's so we've got um regis and detlaf Okay, Detlaf van der Eretin. It was horrifying to watch that gentleman suddenly turn into a ghastly beast with claws and tore those men to shreds with the precision of a master butcher, a witness to Detlaf's attacks. Detlaf is a high vampire and one of the most terrifying creatures the world has ever known. Some vampires of his sort live among men easily and in uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> inconspicuously, sometimes even gaining the respect and admiration of their community. Yet even the most civilized vampire can be incredibly dangerous if provoked, and Detlaf, Detlaf was far from civilized. Uh, when in his two-legged form, Detlaf strikes in surprising and unique ways, so one must be extremely alert and attentive. His razor-sharp claws, wielded with great strength and precision, are his chief weapons. Yet he can also wield weapons um, of human devising with ex extra what yet he can also wield weapons of human devising with extraordinary skill okay like all higher vampires detlaf can turn into fog and envelop opponents when fighting a vampire in this form one must watch out for the magic for magic puddles and attacks from the air when wounded detlaf tends to assume his winged form using these powerful appendages to stun his foes near effortlessly Sorry, effortlessly. <laughs> One must remember, higher vampires are immortal creatures and thus do not fear for their own lives while fighting, meaning they take every risk. They are able to turn invisible and can regenerate strength through combat. All in all, they are su supremely difficult foes, even for a witcher. Okay, and finally... No, not that. I don't want that. Hey, sorry. Okay, we want to reach Shalemars. So let me go up here. Right, here we go. Um, actually, let me read this one, because this quest relates. Shalemar from the Emperor of Nilfgaard. Gladiator fights in massive arenas are a popular form of entertainment in Nilfgaard. Usually the fighters are slaves, spe specially trained for this purpose. You know, at times, the arena masters pit humans against monsters. The Shalemar uh, Geralt had to fight in the tawny grounds was a present from the Emperor to his relative, Duchess Anna Henrietta. It had been caught while young and prepared for its ultimate purpose by Nilfgaardian trainers. That does not mean it was tame, however. In fact, its wildness and inborn ferocity had not been dulled one whit. Like all creatures of this species, it was blind but could unerringly pinpoint its opponent's location using echolocation. The Shalemar had thick armour and near impenetrable skin. It could also roll into a ball and charge its opponents. Its underbelly, however, was relatively vulnerable and became exposed when its charge failed. In the end, though, the fight was long and difficult. Geralt defeated the Shalimar and, when a duchess called from the stands for him to finish the beast off, he refused to kill the creature, not wanting to take a life, merely to amuse a crowd. And I was right, it was Salmon and Relic Toil. 
but anyway guys so regis i'll read his uh, in the next um episode but man i look i wish you could only know how happy i am doing this um th this is absolutely awesome guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode very long but uh, i wanted it to be long i you know wanted it to be a full experience um so anyway we've got a lot to do this is a huge dlc guys it's it's massive i can't even tell you um i i don't even know if i should even call it a dlc it's like it's like witcher 3.5 <laughs> not quite witcher 4 but witcher 3.5 but anyway i hope you enjoyed yourselves Thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you on the next part. Take care.